Hello and what's up YouTube? In this video, I will show you how I make a powder coating gun. I use this PVC elbow and a piece of stainless steel tubing. I will have to supply air to the stainless steel tubing to this air compressor blowgun. But the blowgun nozzle is not a good fit so I use shrink tube to make it tight. One shrink tube is not enough. I actually have to use two layers. Now that's a better fit. Then I, I will use a bigger shrink tube to wrap the blowgun nozzle and the stainless steel tubing and make it airtight. But I will have to shrink it later. The powder coating gun operates at a very low pressure, so it does not take much to make an airtight seal. The tubing for the air input does not have to be stainless steel. I only use it because that is what I have. I cut out these pieces of aluminum sheet to be the, the frame that hold the blow gun and the PVC elbow together firmly. This style of blow gun have a hole on top where I attach the frame with bolts and nuts. You may have a different style blow gun, so just be creative how you can attach it to the rest of the powder coating gun. I made this clamp to hold the PVC elbow and attach it to the frame. I pre-drilled the holes prior to this assembly. I had a spacer and then I bolt it in place. So after a few adjustments, I tighten all the bolts and the assembly is now one solid piece. I then heat the big shrink tube to seal the, the connection of the blowgun nozzle and the stainless steel tubing. I am making the electrostatic chamber out of this half inch PVC pipe. I grind an internal bevel to help with the airflow. So the beveled end of the pipe connects to the PVC elbow. That is where the paint powder will come out. I sanded one end of the PVC pipe so it fits snug with this plastic bottle opening. At this point, I put an o-ring and assumed that it will be airtight. I mixed some epoxy to seal the hole where the stainless steel tubing penetrates the PVC elbow. The epoxy also helps to fix the tubing in place. 
You can also use a plastic tubing or a rubber hose for the input air to the powder container. It does not have to be stainless steel tubing. In fact, I did not buy any of these materials as I basically found them in the trash bin. As soon as the epoxy dried, I am eager to test if this contraption will work. But I did not want to experiment with the paint powder yet, so I just loaded the bottle with face powder. However, my air compressor does not have a pressure regulator. The first time I pressed the air blow gun, it almost completely blow out all the powder and empty the bottle. I also found a problem with the opening of the bottle not having a good seal. I tried to regulate the air blow gun trigger to only allow a tiny bit of air and it does seem to work. So I will call it a success for now. While waiting for the needed pressure regulator, I thought I'll make another powder container. This time with a plastic jar and a piece of PVC bulkhead fitting. This will probably give me a better sealing connection than that of the plastic bottle. The PVC pipe fits tightly to the PVC elbow, so I made a last minute modification and cut a short PVC pipe and glue it permanently to the plastic bottle. That will hopefully fix the leak on that connection. I did the same with the plastic jar. So there you have it, my version of the homemade powder coating gun that cost almost nothing to build. On the next video, I will show you how I made the power supply for this powder coating gun. If you find this content useful, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. See you next time.